Hey what's going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and this time we're doing a follow up on iOS 14 beta 1. Everything from performance to battery life to new features and also whether you should download or not iOS 14 beta 1 on your device right now. Starting things off with new features that have been discovered on iOS 14 beta 1. This update is packed with new features. Now if you go to settings and you go to change your clock, so you go to general, you go to date and time, right here you will see a totally new interface when you tap to change the date and the clock on your device. So you will get the calendar right here so you can actually go ahead and switch between months there. So you will have the old interface, the new interface right here. And now if you want to change the time, you just tap right right there and you can type anytime you want right here. You probably know about the new feature, the new dots that indicate that an app is using the camera or the microphone of your device. So you will get a green dot when it's using the camera and a yellow one when it's using the mic. And now if you go to the control center, you will see at the top there basically a text and an icon which shows which app has recently used your camera or your mic. On iOS 14 beta 1, the magnifier is now an app. So you can see right here on the home screen, we have the magnifier. So you will have basically an icon there to launch the app. Now, if you don't see it anywhere on the home screen of your iPhone on iOS 14 beta 1, make sure you go to the app library and search for it there and you will find it under utilities. A really cool feature that I like on iOS 14 beta 1 is that the widgets that you have on the left side, if you go to the lock screen and try to access them while having your device locked with Face ID, you can see that they will be locked and it won't display anything. So all the information there will be locked. And once you have your device unlocked, then of course it will show the information. On the notes app on iOS 14 beta 1, if you go to a folder of notes, now you will have the ability to create a new folder within that folder. So here I have a folder with notes, I can tap right there and from here I can add a new folder. So let's just type test here, click save and now you can see that I have, okay that name is taken, let's try another one here, let's just add like some random letters right there and here we have a new folder within that folder so you can see how cool this is you can now have folders within folders the menus have also been updated system-wide on ios 14 beta 1 so if i try to close the tabs right here you will see a new menu right there or if i go to messages here try to edit just tap and hold there you can see a new menu so basically system wide on iOS 14 you will see the style of new menus. There are a few widgets on the home screen of your iPhone with iOS 14 beta 1 that can be edited for example the widget of the weather app if I go here and 3D touch on it it will give me the option to edit the widget and then it will basically just rotate it and from here I can change the location so you can see here I can choose any of these other locations or I can just choose the current location if I have the location services turned on. On iOS 14 beta 1 you will see the typing indicator on the messages list without having to go in the message to see the typing indicator. You can now pin up to 9 conversations on the iMessage app. You can also move them around simply by dragging them just like you do on the icons on the home screen. You can basically rearrange them any way you like. Just basically tap hold and drag one of them and place them anywhere you want. On iOS 14 you will get a new like notification when you connect your AirPods to the Bluetooth. So you can see right there it says connected that will appear for any like Bluetooth device that you connect to your iPhone. It is really really cool and of course it looks really amazing. It's just like the pencil notification that you get with the Apple Pencil. You will also get the same one if your AirPods are low on battery so you will get a notification showing you that you have low battery on your AirPods and that of course is really really useful. Another very cool feature of iOS 14 beta 1 is that now it supports optimized battery charging for AirPods. So that of course on the long run will make the battery of the AirPods last way longer. On iOS 14 beta 1 if you go to the AirPods on the Bluetooth menu now you will have a new test here for the air tips fit. So it's basically a new song a new menu right here. It's really really cool. And if we go back 
you will notice that now the about is here also so all the informations that you would find on the general settings under the about section where the iphone settings are as well the iphone info you will also find now the same info for your airpods right here under the bluetooth menu of the airpods there is also an update on the scroll bar so now on ios 14 if you tap and hold on the scroll bar to quickly scroll you will hear a nice like click a nice sound which is very subtle but you will probably hear it once you try it on your device and also you will get an haptic feedback if you go to your wi-fi network on ios 14 beta 1 it will show you if you have weak security on your wi-fi so it shows that information right there and also now it allows you to enable a private address for your ip so your wi-fi address right here can be a private one simply by enabling it right here and another change here on the gallery of the shortcuts so if you go right here and go to one of the categories you will see a totally new interface on the shortcuts gallery with ios 14 beta 1. And now let's talk about performance ios 14 beta 1 it is amazing it's really really great the performance is very nice very smooth and i didn't have any like major problem whatsoever with ios 14 beta 1 comparing it to ios 13 beta 1 it's a big big change ios 13 was just a disaster this one is really great and very stable as well i didn't have like any crashes or any like experience any bugs until now i've used it for three days and i've used it quite a lot the only thing i'm noticing is like a few crashes here and there on third party apps like maybe facebook or instagram i had a few crashes especially on the facebook app and that that was about it i didn't have any like major crashes or like a freeze or something it has been a very nice and a very smooth experience for me using ios 14 beta 1 as my daily driver and now let's talk about battery life here's where ios 14 beta 1 doesn't stand that good of course it's beta 1 so you can expect that to happen so if we go to battery the first thing i noticed is that if i go to battery health you will notice that the maximum capacity of the battery of my iphone right now is at 93 percent now i had ios 13.5.1 installed on my device and the battery health was at 95 once i installed ios 14 it dropped down to io to 93 i've seen people reporting that it has increased on some devices of course that's like a software issue because that cannot increase but it has dropped by two points on my device that what i have experienced and as far as battery life goes i can say compared to ios 13.5.1 it should be probably somewhere like 20 percent or 30 percent worse than ios 13.5.1 of course this is only the first beta and you can expect something like that to happen but hopefully with the next few betas it will be improved a ton and another thing that i have noticed here is that home and lock screen is using way more battery than it used to do on previous versions on ios 13 i've noticed that maybe because of the widgets or maybe because of the time that i spent here like just playing around with the widgets that can be one of the cases but it's consuming way more battery on the home screen and lock screen than ios 13.5.1 and last but not least let's talk about whether you should install or not ios 14 beta 1 on your device right now now if you just want to try out the new features i say you can install it i don't recommend installing it on your daily driver because of course it's still on beta and some apps might not be like updated to work with this beta so just to be safe wait like for a few more weeks and probably in about 10 days we will have the first public beta of ios 14 so that's when i recommend for everyone to install ios 14 beta the public one if you want to try out ios 14 on your device again it's not like it's worth it's bad like on or anything like that i had a really really smooth experience with this update but again it's still a beta so you have to be careful with that so that's pretty much it for this video guys this is the follow-up on ios 14 beta 1 after three full days of using it and using it quite a lot so overall a very nice experience a great update with some really really nice features and hopefully in the future we will see way more features being added to this update overall a very smooth experience and a very very smooth performance of ios 14 beta 1 so that's basically it don't forget to subscribe for more videos thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one